Okay, Debbie. You got this. That sign say? Can we go back and take a look at that? Fuck! Piss off, ghost. That was a wisp. Shit, close enough. Construction site danger. Keep mm. out. Authorized personnel only. Under construction. Golden Guam Casino. Contractors: Kingsmith, Zing, Build, Zing, Zing. And Joe Construction. I wonder who that is. Really? That that sounds fake. Maybe that's Zing Guild. Or Zing... I don't... Hmm. Zing Guild? Who's that? I don't know. But no, Joe Construction. We know who did that one. You know, Joe. Oh, right. Oh, my God. He is that uncreative. That just... My brain would not allow me to think of that as real. You have a skeleton crew on me. Seriously, that sounds like... Like one of Snoopy's made-up characters. Joe Construction! World-famous construction worker! We never really had any trouble with your type on the hunts. Maybe some get a little too keen about waving their fancy swords around instead of a good rifle. I'd tell them <laughs> features can take a high caliber bullet. And a I studied the blade and I want to use it. Are you positive you want to get up close? There was one guy though. Wanted to blood himself from a Wendigo. What? That's what he said, and I looked at Annika thinking, this is not gonna fly. She told him no way, no how. Maybe he didn't know the legends like we did, but you don't want to be getting Wendigo in you. He kicked off over that, so we wheeled the truck around, took him back to the airport so fast he hardly had time to pack his little photocopied pamphlets. Like you see on television, what are they called? The morning light? Oh! Guess those moonies are soft in the head after all. Uh, oh, fuck. I'm just trying to think there's a better than even chance he knew what would happen. Well... Probably better just let it happen. Before the storm, Paul and I were talking expansion. I'd talk, he'd agree. On the mainland, maybe up in the Appalachians. Been tracking sightings of unidentified creatures there since we got started. We cross off half of them as overactive imagination, and we're still talking dozens. We can move up from one hunt a month to two a week. Damn, but those New Yorkers can't get enough trophies. Decorating their boardrooms or something. Sightings were on the up and up here, too. Not just the Sasquatch and the Wendigo. There's something out there. Different to the rest. Next time you go back, take a look in KG's office. It's a wrong sound. Not an animal call, but something that's making a noise like it thinks an animal should. Uh. It doesn't even carry on the air right. If it's marking out its territory... That's the best of a bad situation. It means it's not coming down here. If you're going out to the coast, I'll give you some advice on the house. Better listen up. My man here is not usually in the business of parting with anything for free. <laughs> she makes sure I get paid by the hour. <laughs> anyway, you'll want to be prepared. They're a territorial bunch, the Pale Men, and they rile up in packs. You've got to use the land to your advantage. Get in the hunt and turn their pack mentality against them. Same as you would with any other beast. Even though they're sure not the same as any other beast. Oh, they're I smart. Swear, it's as if they mm -hmm. can hear what's going on inside your head. <laughs> so I'm pretty safe around them. I made it through to the surf once and caught sight of something in the fog. Oh, God. If it wants to stay there, that... Suits me just fine. It was big. Bigger than that Sasquatch last July? Oh, hell yeah. 
And he was 600 pounds, but mad with old age. Knew his time Ooh. had come, and that's the way of things. But that creature out there doesn't play by any rules of nature. Birth, the middle of it, death. That thing has passed beyond death. And way beyond our league. Can we just move beyond Thunderdome? <laughs> <laughs> I am such a nerd. I'm not much of a deep thinker. Working in the outdoors, it pays to me more concerned with what's happening than the why. But when the world went all to hell, Sure, I had to do some considering. Perhaps the reason we ran across those beasts when we did was a sign. It seems animals are the first to know when there's a big change coming. And perhaps I should have known it then. I just sensed it. Like at the end of fall when you know a hard freeze is coming on overnight. Mm. And there's always been stories. Not just old Joe's, the townies bring their own too. And there's a Kingsmith explanation for all the good and bad in the world. Mostly the bad. Hell, I've told college kids a horror story or two about the old trapper cabin to keep them out of it. When the fog rolls back, what if this is the way the world's going to be from now on? <sighs> so if this started like, this started like five years ago then. There's still a tribe here. I'd call it a dysfunctional one. I mostly keep out of Wabanaki business. They can't get along with each other, let alone cope in the real world. And half the townies still lock up their mouthwash when they see one of us coming. Oh. Like aftershocks that somehow precede it. Then there's the matter of our sacred land. Sometimes they can't trip over themselves fast enough to sell it off mm. by the yard. Others. They dig in their heels even when psycoil suits are here sweating money. Me, I think they like the fantasy that there's good soil to protect and sour soil to make the evil eye out. It doesn't work that way. People gave Blue Ridge a bad name, not ancient cursings. No one disturbed the burial grounds, and yet there they are, up and walking anyway. It can take days for these boys to agree on the communal food order. If they were the defenders of this island, I feel bad for the island. Mm. Maybe it's like it wasn't like just one sudden weakening and then everything fell down. Maybe it was like beating on the wards until you know until they weakened enough. Maybe, but this seems to be like global. It does seem pretty big. It's a sad thing when families can't settle their differences. And 40 years is a long time. That's how long we've been half a tribe. Even here, we're divided. Those of us who chose to stay in the camp, we've got our schemes and our plans. Frank and Joe with their schemes, a casino might as well be wearing headdresses and charging tourists for pictures and Paul and Annika bringing big city folk out there into the forest to hunt exotic prey they all believe the land belongs to us that she's ours to exploit like it's our birthright to take advantage of the land like she owes us anything I'm not saying we're the only ones at fault. Red. Now, there's a man some would call pig-headed, and they wouldn't be wrong. So, he's a man of principles. And I can't say I'd have done differently if I were in his shoes, but he played his part in this. He was never one to forgive. But, we all had to make tough choices. He made his, and I made mine. And who's to say what was right and wrong back then? At least we know the reason why we didn't talk. You feel it? 
bit harder to be on once those who weren't here back then, like Ami and Kyla. Mm. They must all think we're old and stubborn. And less of a family for it. And that saddens me more than anything. <sighs> Man, so much hardship in this tribe. See what's yeah. over here. Yeah. See what they're, they're talking about, about the... Well, I mean, there's Drog and... Deep Ones. Uh, of course, it's not enough we got the Drog, we gotta deal with fucking Dagon, too. Wait, did I use that line already? I don't know. Yeah. That one's tall. She tall. Hmm. Hmm. It's all just kind of like a lot, a lot more grim than it usually is, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's been pretty grim. It's, I mean, we're dealing with some pretty dark stuff, but yeah. I feel like since I, um, since I went in there with um, Beaumont, that things have gotten worse. Yeah, they really, really does feel that way. I feel like it's a little bit my fault. I mean, I let him in there. I mean, you, you couldn't have known what he was doing. I mean... What of the fog? Some say it is a biochemical weapon being tested by the government. Some say it is divine punishment for Kingsmith's many sins. Some say it is an assault on Illuminati interests. A few individuals in the Wabanaki tribe say the fog is the tool of a hidden malevolence in Solomon County. A name their ancestors knew but have forgotten. They claim hope lies in the Wabanaki warding circle that has protected the area for centuries, but they do not know what it protects. Did the circle hold back the fog? What do you say? Regardless of what is believed, the fog will end all life should it swallow Kingsmith again. Well, thanks, bees. They're not helping. They are very not helping. Uh-uh. 